we have a public extension service provision that is funded by the government. So we have extension service providers uh, from the county level to the sub-county level down to the ward level that uh, are able to reach the farmers. And uh, recently we have had uh, uh, an engagement with uh, some partners from Africa and another project called uh, Local Development Research Institute, LDRI, who like introduced uh, a model of extension service for the farmers that involves a use of uh, farmers. So we train farmers to train other farmers. So it has been able to reach up to 20,000 farmers. I became a VBA in February 2019. I was introduced to LDRI by the extension officer of my ward and we were trained by the LDRI and we were taught about on how to volunteer to help the farmers on how to improve the productivity to their farm. Our project had three main objectives. One was uh, on uh, using the VBAs as a tool or a, as, an, an, as an extension uh, to the information to, so that they could reach the farmers. Then two, on regenerative agricultural uh, practices, adoption by the farmers, and then the agri board came in on the third uh, font, which was dissemination of information to the farmers, stakeholders, and uh, the county officials. I thought that it is a very good idea because uh, currently in Kiambu uh, we have a scarcity of staff and reaching uh, farmers uh, it's, uh, it's tedious and a bit difficult because for example I'm all alone in, a, in a representing a ward. I am a VBA with over 700 farmers of which I've been able to register 510 farmers on the agriport and I have accumulated them over one year. We have several challenges as farmers in this area, uh, one being uh, undearable rainfall. Uh, the seasons are not like they used to be. Uh, we also have a problem with, like, as the maize farmers, the, the fall armyworm is really affecting the maize, so that's really a huge problem. And we also have a problem with our soils. Our soils are very acidic. Uh, as you can see, because of the tea, tea requires very acidic soil, so it affects the other crops. Our partnership with AGRA started when we realised we had similar objectives. One in terms of being able to support farmers better, being more productive and increasing their income. And so partnering with AGRA, one was to get industry expertise and learn from them, but also at the same time be able to really understand what are the challenges and how do we address them using technology. One of the challenges that uh, I observed uh, among the VBAs and the farmers when they were trying to adopt the chatbot is the fact that most of the VBA or some of the VBAs were using feature phones. And for feature phones, for you to access AgriBot, you had to use the messaging app. And sometimes the messaging app was a bit slow in responding, such that most of the farmers would actually give up in the process of registering themselves. The board is structured in a way that uh, farmers can access it through SMS through Telegram and also through WhatsApp. So the interaction means that they're using all these different channels to get information and also to ask for information. Now we have about 900 VBAs that are on the platform and they are now registering their, their farmers, not on a book, not on a piece of paper, but on a platform they put in their, their, their details. It's a profile that they put in for their particular farmers. And uh, so by registering, we've seen at least uh, some VBAs registering up to 700 farmers. And now this has grown to about 50,000 farmers in the two counties that we serve. I came to know about AgriBot through Agra and Microsoft. But then it required to nafanya door to door, unaenda door to door, kutafuta wa kulima. Lakini kutoka AgriBot wa kuje, at least to kona ile message wa unatuma message moja, which is free of charge. So your message you kituma inafikia kila mkulima. Na it's, it's very easy to give them information. In the same, same, same angry report, kuna message ya 
weather forecast. In that weather forecast, you can be able to plan yourself wakati utatafta, utapanda, wakati utapariria. Basically, it is a good program. Farmers learn by doing and also by seeing. Because when you, a lot of writing uh, may not have a lot of explanation, but the pictures and uh, maybe videos, uh, that one would be more easy for the farmers to grasp. For us as Microsoft, we really want to partner with governments, partners with agribusinesses, international organizations to see how technology can play a role in accelerating the innovation space, but also in terms of being able to be effective in the interventions that governments and other institutions are, are making directly to the farmer. Because at the end of the day, the aspect is on farmer income and farmer productivity.